Good evening, folks. Today, I'm going to tell you a story of a demon who could turn anybody into ashes by the touch of his palm. This is the story of Basmasur. As usual, we will try to drive a meaning from this story for our modern lives. Once upon a time, a demon called Bhasmasur does extreme austerity to the point of mortification for Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva, pleased with his austerity, appears in front of him. Bhasmasur, I am very pleased by your austerity. What is it that you wish? Lord Shiva, Give me the boon of immortality. I don't want to fear death again. Shiva looks at him and says, That cannot, that cannot be, Basmasur. The, the boon of immortality, of immortality can, can never and, and ever, ever be given, given to anybody, anybody because it will destroy, destroy the, balance the balance of, of nature. nature. Think, of Think of another, another boon, boon that you want. That you want. You want. Now, angry at Shiva's denial of his boon, his wicked mind plans to take revenge on Shiva. He thinks of many wild ideas and finally arrives at one. He looks at Shiva and says, All right, in that case, give me the power that if I touch anything or anybody with my palm, that thing should burn down and turn into ashes immediately. That, that is possible. possible. So be, so it. be it. And having said that, Shiva turns back. Basmasur looks at Shiva with wild eyes and says, Just a minute, Shiva. Let me first test this boon, if it works or not. Shiva turns back and look at him and immediately realizes what he has in mind. Basmasur stretches his arm and starts running towards Shiva. Shiva runs and Basmasur runs behind him and as he is running behind Shiva, his palm touches one tree on the way and the tree immediately burns down to ashes and the entire jungle echoes with the laughter of Basmasur. <laughs> Shiva, you thought I'm a fool. I'm gonna burn you down and marry your wife Parvati and then rule the entire universe now. Shiva then hides himself in a place and calls Vishnu using his meditative powers. Vishnu, who is lying on the soft skin of his multi-head snake in the infinite ocean, gets up and smiles at Lakshmi and says, Shiva is up to his antics again. I will be back soon. Vishnu appears in front of the hiding Shiva and says, You got yourself into trouble again, Mahadev. Shiva tells him the entire story of the boon. And Vishnu looks at him and says, you know that you are Bhutnath and you cannot be destroyed by anything or anyone in this entire universe at any time. Shiva looks at him and smiles and says, The world, the world needs, needs a lesson, a lesson Vishnu, Vishnu, and lesson, lesson comes, comes from, from stories. stories. Vishnu smiles back at him and says, Indeed. Indeed. And he immediately turned himself into a beautiful, voluptuous, seductive woman named <laughs> Mohini. He looks at Shiva and says, the kind of things I have to do for you, my friend. And disappears into the jungle where Basmasur is frantically searching for Shiva. Mohini walks past in front of Basmasur. <laughs> Basmasur stops in his feet and stares at Mohini with lustful eyes. I'm going to rule this world very soon. Even Shiva is scared of me. I want you, O oh beautiful women, be mine right now or I will burn you to ashes immediately. Mohini laughs and walks seductively towards Basmasur and she looks deep into his eyes and says, I can be yours if you prove yourself to be worthy of me. You see, I'm very passionate about dancing. If you match my dance step by step, I will be yours forever and ever. <laughs> Basmasur is amused and agrees to Mohini's wish, thinking it will be a harmless fun to win this woman. 
Vishnu, who is in the form of Mohini, starts his beautiful dance and Bhasmasur follows the dance step by step. As the time passes, the dance begins to get more frantic in nature and Bhasmasur follows more frantically. For days they dance in the jungle and finally the dance reaches its crescendo. Bhasmasur, who gets more attracted towards Mohini after looking at her dance, follows her with more intensity and more jest and finally Mohini strikes a pose with one hand touching her head and Bhasmasur who is completely mesmerized follows the same step and touches his own head and immediately he runs down and turns into ashes and thus Vishnu gets rid of Bhasmasur in his first ever female avatar called Mohini. You see, in any stage of our life, we too can give birth to a Bhasmasur who threatens its own creator. At times when we are arrogant, too greedy or too violent, we not only destroy others but ourselves as well. And during such time, we also invite a temptress, whether men or women, into our life who finally becomes the cause of the nemesis of such a person and finishes that person off. In the corporate world also, the story has a meaning. We can look at the famous story of Steve Jobs from this angle. He hired a CEO in his company who eventually becomes Basmasur and threatens him and throws him out of his own company. Now, not literally in hiding, but away from his company, he builds another temptation and then finally returns to Apple and finishes that CEO of that company. So that will be all for today. Do check out the story of Rakht Beej in our last episode. In the next episode, we'll tell you a powerful story of Andhaka, which has shades of Oedipus story from Greek mythology. Till then, this is Sandeep Verma from Cobalt Blue Foundation and you're listening to Beyond Mythologies. Stay home, stay safe and stay calm.